Good morning people, it's 20th of March, first day of spring. What you see on screen are two images. One on the left is the YouTube app where you've got a mini player highlighted in yellow on the bottom left hand side. On the right uh, landscape image is YouTube in Chrome on Android which also replicates the mini player on the right as you search. Now I need to um, look at whether I can actually make this work in desktop. So I'm on Windows 10, Chrome Beta, in YouTube at the moment. So watch this and I'll see if I can replicate it. I say that because yesterday I tried three times and failed. So here's a search, Power Director Mike Downs, and click Enter. Then what we get is an idea of search results. I'm going to click the first one. I'm just going to turn the sound off. And of course I've got to wait for this advert to um, push through. Um, so all I'm going to do is it's starting to play this is one of my own videos now going back into the top again I want to continue searching so what I'm going to do I think I've got to change the search text so I'm going to take out the word mic and just put power director downs in it and hit enter if this works and it has this time thankfully we see that on the bottom right hand side my video is carrying on playing then I can muck about here and do lots and lots of searching while keeping an idea on um, the video that is playing on the right hand side. You'll see that I can still scrub bar through and see the frames of the video and I can also pause it or go to the next one. Now you'll notice on here that there is a next arrow um, triangle with a line. The moment I go over it, can you see what's happening? I think I've got it but it goes up to oh okay so it's highlighting what the next video this is all I need to know so in other words what you'll find also is that if you open up your little panel on the left hand side and let's say I wanted to look at some trending videos I can do that search as well by still yeah there we go I can still see that my actual video is playing on the bottom right to reinstate it you click once and I think that should pop up. He says, what's happened? No? Double click it, is it? Yeah, now double clicking it or clicking it, whatever, makes it go up again. So, th so that was it. Just to bring it back in the other slide, um, this is a new feature, I think. One, as you'll see that this is already in the YouTube app, bottom left and top right. I can replicate it by using Chrome desktop force check button on the right. Oh, and the other thing which is quite important, which I didn't show you, and that is that I'm using YouTube in um, the new YouTube. So what you need to do is you need to go to youtube.com forward slash test tube and then scroll down. It says try out a fresh look for YouTube and you click uh, new. So you'll notice that the bottom left says YouTube forward slash new and then I'm using the dark theme. That's how I've got the feature, but I think it's a pretty useful little thing going on. And now I've messed up, haven't I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the transition and then start again. I'm using YouTube, uh, new YouTube, in a dark theme. To get there, what you need to do is go over to uh, youtube.com forward slash test tube and then scroll down. It says try out a fresh look for YouTube and try new YouTube. You notice that when I hover that blue button it does say forward slash new. That's all you actually need. Let me just change that and see what that actually looks like. Um, forward slash 